What is going on guys, it's Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Bug Snacks. Now last time we left off, we did something that uh, is probably bad and <laughs> in the long run to be quite honest, we turned like four of these grumpuses into full on Bug Snacks. We turned Gramble into nothing but Waff Stack Racks, we turned Cromdo into nothing but to uh, Talk Roaches, that's what those are called. We turned Befica into nothing but hot dogs, or weenie worms, and like a little bit of the shy weenie worm as well, a little bit. I think just to get that little bit of mustard on her as well. And of course, we turned Philbo into nothing but strabbies, which is disgusting. Look at Befica. Oh, that is horrifying. Okay, yeah, we turned it. It was the other way around. We turned everything in the shiny or shy weenie worms. Then, of course, the regular weenie worm on top, because <laughs> it's like sideways and doesn't stick out her head like that. I don't know if I'm going to do that too. Oh, my gosh, Gramble. I am so sorry what I did to you. <laughs> oh no! You know what? I just, I'm just going to wake him up. I'm just going to be a good person from now on for him. Let me talk to him, wake him up. Ah, oh, not again! <sighs> Should tie myself down. <laughs> Thankfully, I think he's referring to himself sleepwalking and not, you know, eating more bug snacks, so that's good. Either way, uh, we also we have so many interviews ahead of us, you guys. We need to go to bed to turn it like to a better time. It's currently 3 a.m. right now. As you can see, I didn't pick up any bug snacks between this episode and next episode because I don't know if I'm going to meme around with uh, turning people into full-on bug snacks at least for a little while, you know? Because <laughs> we've got so many. Uh, let's let's go into 5 a.m. There you go, a couple hours ahead. Because we got so many interviews, we have got so many side quests. We need to we need to stop distracting ourselves with a turning everyone into like a singular bug snack and stuff like that, you know? <laughs> So, who are we going to start out with? Who's who's the oldest person that we brought back to Snacksburg that we haven't interviewed yet? Chandlo, maybe? Oh, uh, oh, that's Floofty over at the lab. I don't want to do that one. Maybe Chandlo, actually, now that I think about it. So, let's go interview Chandlo. It may be, uh... Oh, wait, was it, uh... Oh, yeah, 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 it was Cromdo. Where's he at? Oh, he's still in bed. <laughs> I, I thought everyone would be out of bed at the same time, but oh my gosh, Cromdo. You look horrifying. <laughs> yeah, hi. Uh, how's it going? Okay, I think it's time to do this interview, but I don't know if I can take it seriously. Oh, he's going right back to bed. <laughs> I guess it's kind of interesting that different uh, grumpuses have different bedtimes and stuff, like different times they wake up. Let's talk to you. Uh, do you have time for an interview? All right, I could use some practice. They'll be interviewing me every day when I'm a gazillionaire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. Let's, let's start the interview. Oh, I don't think I could take it seriously with him looking like that. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, he doesn't look like that anymore. Why, why does that sticker still exist? <laughs> Who are you? Business King, sales savant, future CEO of Starbucks, the one, the only, Cromdo Face! <laughs> Do you have an ugly face there, Cromdo? Oh my gosh. Why did you come to Snack Youth Island? You ever smell the future, kid? Huh? I can tell you, Lisbert stank of opportunity. She came on TV talking big about this new superfood, and I wanted in. So I quit my dead-end job and followed that stench of possibility. Yeah, so same, so similar uh, to what happened to us, where Lisbert sent us like that video of uh, Snacks or Snack Youth Island saying, "Oh, I think it was specifically for us. Maybe it was a more generic video, but yeah, saying, yeah, there are these." crazy creatures here and you should go investigate them there, you journalist. What was your dead-end job that you had before you came to Snacksburg? Or Snack Youth Island in general? Ah, I used to go door to door selling gruel to grandmas. Paid on commission for grump's sake. Door to door salesman. I can definitely believe that with this guy. Jeez. Thoughts on bike snacks? <laughs> what do I think of? <laughs> Delicious! Irresistible! Marketable! They're gonna catapult me straight to the top of money down, baby! Yeah, I, I, after I said that, I was like, you know what? He's covered in literally nothing but tacos. I think he, he thinks very highly of bug snacks. He thinks they're delicious. <laughs> why do you leave town? Or why did you leave town? Yeah, I tried to make use of what Lisbeth didn't need anymore, and Befica didn't like that. Yeah, she went and told everyone that I'm a thief. Yeah, we heard that, uh, that, that he, like, yeah, weren't you stealing? Yeah, Befica said that he was stealing, and then she, like, took pictures and stuff like that and sent pictures to everyone around us, uh, Snacksburg. Weren't you stealing? I was salvaging! That's a community service, pal! But Befica planted evidence in my hut, said I stole her diary, so I did what any honest grump would do. I ran. 
Yeah, that's what honest people do whenever they get caught. They run away. <laughs> Weren't you stealing uh, any info on Lisbert, though? Oh, don't get me started. Everyone here thinks she's so great, such a fantastic leader. But I know the truth. She came here to stroke her ego and get Eggabel her fix. The rest of us were just pss, disposable. What's Eggabel's fix? Disposable? That's pretty cold. Yeah, that's pretty savage there. Is Eggabel's fix related to that little spring thing that, uh, you guys remember those video diaries? At the end of like two of those, Lisbert gave Eggabel like two spring looking bug snack things. I wonder what those were. I wonder if that has anything to do with this Eggabel getting her fix thing that you just talked about. Disposable? That, that's pretty cold of you to say that. That's Elizabeth Megafig. When push came to shove, she abandoned us. You sure? I, I think she just went on a, an ex exploration and just never came back. I don't think she really abandoned us. Yeah, what do you mean by that? I, I gotta confess, I was thinking about sailing home after things got hairy. But when I went looking for our boat, it was gone. There's only two grumps missing. You do the math. <laughs> I bet Liz and Egg are living large in New Grump City by now. I don't know where they are right now, or if they're even living. Calm down, Gromdo, that's enough for now. Yeah, he's getting really worked up over here for some reason. Yeah, 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 I get it, pal. I'm not the nicest Grumpus around. I learned early on that life is like a box of trash. <laughs> you always know what you're gonna get. Trash. I'm the trash man. When I'm dead, just throw me in the trash. Just go check out where the boat was. See what you think of Lisbon after that. Ooh, he gave- oh, yeah, I completely forgot that. Every time we do an interview, we do get a clue. So this is going to be really interesting. Hold on, is that the map that we had? Map to the boat, check your journal for- is that the map on Boiling Bay that we found? Oh, what did we find over there? Oh yeah, the bottom half of that one, uh, that map that showed, like, the combination to s something with, like, pressure plates or something like that, right? That's- that looks like, uh, Boiling Bay with a volcano and the beach there. I think we already, uh, figured that out. Huh. What in the world? Oh, does he have a quest for us now? A side quest? You look like you're scheming. <laughs> he always does. Hey, pal, I got a business opportunity for you. I got a tip that Triffany found some sort of treasure map while she was digging around. They say it'll lead to a huge bug snack. Imagine what a snack that size is worth. I was thinking of taking that map off her paws. That's where you come in. Get me a bug snack so delicious that Triffany would die for it and we'll trade. Then we'll split the profits 50-50. Fifteen? Did you say fifty? Did you say fifteen? Yeah, it sounded like fifteen. I clearly said fifty. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, he was talking about trash there. You guys, <laughs> this this guy is totally Danny DeVito. Like, come on, <laughs> oh, Danny DeVito in the trash memes. So we interviewed him. Who was the? I guess maybe Chandlo after that we could interview as well. And then after we do like, yeah, after we do this second interview over here, we could do a side quest or something like that. Just kind of break it up a little bit, but we still need to do more and more interviews to, to catch up. Where did Chandlo go? Is he still, okay, he's still running around right now, yeah. With his, his oh no, Philbo. I'm so sorry there, Philbo. Phil and Bethlehem and Grabble. Where did, uh, man, he's going, it's, it takes a while to try and catch up with him. Oh, leave it, look, look how fast we are. Oh, jeez, right in my face, Chandlo. All right, let's talk to you. Time for an interview. Ooh, gonna quiz me, dog? I'll crush your questions. All right, well, let's start the interview and let's see how much he crushes our questions. All right, well, let's start out with who you are there, Chandlo. Who are you? Chandlo Funkbun. I lift. Do you even lift, bruh? Yeah, I guess he does. Lifting is a job. It's a way of life, bro. Anything that needs to go up. Logs, buildings, balls, snorpy. I'll get them there. Can you stop talking about your balls? Jeez, <laughs> you're gonna get me demonetized. Why did you come to Snack Tooth Island? If I wanna push my limits, I gotta go somewhere extreme. I heard nobody comes back from this island. Sounds like a challenge to me. Uh-oh. I don't think we've heard that before. No one ever comes back from this island? That can't be good. <laughs> That's fine for you, but what about Snorpy? Hey, I'm always looking out for Snorpy. I know Ruffin' it isn't his style, but there's no way I was coming here without him. 
How did you two become a thing? Yeah. Seems like they're very, they're very close. How did you two become a thing? I don't know what you mean, dog. We're like the sky and the sea. Been together since the dawn of time. Uh, okay. I was about to say, like, is he his brother? No. Because, uh, Floofty and Snorpy are, are siblings. Huh. I don't know. I, I guess he's not going to answer that. I'm still curious about that. <laughs> but whatever. Thoughts on bug snacks? Bug snacks are strong. Like a primal kind of strong. Like, they own this place. And I gotta respect that. They own this place, and then you've gotta own them and eat them and become them. <laughs> Thoughts on bug snacks. Why did you leave town? Bro, Snacksburg was a disaster without Lizbert. I couldn't stop all the fighting with lifting or wisdom. I gotta keep things chill for Snorpy. He's got a lot of that social anxiety. Yeah, we heard that, and we saw that earlier with him being cooped up in that cabin for like ever, with the science experiments and stuff. Uh, any info on Lizbert? I'm surprised that's not gonna continue on with uh, other like questions there, but I guess we're gonna jump to the last one. Any info on Lizbert? Lizbert is top dog, you feel me? She really inspires me to test my limits. But uh, that's about it. I'm really tighter with Egabel. Yeah, I think we saw on the uh, the what was it like the Grumpapedia or whatever it's called <laughs> that uh, Egabel and Snorpy are two of the people that he likes. So that's pretty cool. All right, what can you tell me about Egabel? What happened to Lizbert and Egabel? Yeah, tell me about Egabel first. Egabel's a sweetie. She was always looking out for me. Showed me how to stay safe while still pushing my limits. But she was always pushing herself way harder. Wait, she was working out? Yeah, she asked me to train her. Surprised the grump out of me, because she really wasn't built for that kind of stuff. We'd go running every morning and lifting after lunch. Though she would get real down on herself sometimes. But she never gave up, and I respect that. Oh, that's interesting. What happened to Lisbeth and Egabel then? I wish I could tell you. Those two were strong together. I can't think of anything that could take them down. They gotta be okay out there. Somewhere. Hmm, Chandler didn't seem like he was that helpful, but he's probably going to give us a pretty good clue, though, so let's see. Thanks, Chandler. You really slam dunked my questions. Yeah, very straightforward. Bro, that's not... Just... Don't. <laughs> anyway... I recorded Egabel's progress while we were working out. She shared some pretty private stuff, but maybe it'll help you bring her back to us. Don't let me down, bro! What was that? A key? Ooh, to Egabel's ch- Ooh, so we can open up that chest now, finally! Alright, well, I guess- Well, he wasn't very helpful in his interview, like, uh, like, to find out stuff, but his, his clue after the fact was definitely helpful. Does he have a side quest that we could start, though? I guess we could do that a little bit later. Uh, let's go over here to the chest, though, and see what it's all about. Uh, oh, <laughs> look at my big old gut. Eggbell's chest key, boom! Oh, it is another video! Is that number three? It is! Okay, so we finally got number three right there. Awesome, picked up a video diary. Check up your journal for details. I guess we can see what it says about, uh... Whoops, that's... We need to go to clues. Number three, a s sweaty projector tape I found inside Eggbell's hope chest. Yeah, hope chest? Nothing... Is that what this is called, technically? I guess it is, I don't know. But yeah, it sounds like this was like a workout, like, log or whatever, so let's see what it is between, uh, Chandlo and Eggabel. Let's play yeah, it. 1,000! You scoping my form? Egg? Uh, eight! Uh, uh, hey, Egg bro! Good workout today! Let's hit the showers. No! This is pathetic! I won't break yet! Oh, that's hard-boiled, Egg. <laughs> Who lit a fire under you? I just need to get strong enough to catch my own bug snacks. No disrespect, but you've been hitting the snacks pretty hard already. Aw, not you too. No, no. I'm saying you aren't doing this for snacks alone. I can't help you if you're not honest with me. I'm just so sick of feeling like an empty shell. <laughs> I want to stop relying on everybody else. I want to keep up with Liz for once in my life. Respect. I know things are tough with Liz right now, but dog, she loves you. You two will be back to normal in no time. But I don't want to go back to normal. I don't want her worrying about me anymore. <laughs> when you love somebody, 
You never stop worrying about him. I know. And I'm worried about her, too. I just want to take better care of her. And that starts with me. Yeah, I get that. I will get you there. Thanks, Chanlo. And, uh... Ooh, maybe I'll hit the showers after all. I smell rotten. <laughs> I like all those like egg memes that they slipped into there. That's pretty good. But yeah, it sounds like Egg Belt. It, 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 like we already saw in the other video diaries that she doesn't she doesn't really have that good of self confidence and stuff like that. And she's like working out trying to help herself out a little bit, bring herself up so she can also help out others. But I don't know. She keeps bringing herself down. It sounds like so that kind of sucks. Is there anyone else that we could? Uh, I, I see. I I, I I don't think we did anything for. I want to see if he has a side quest. No. I guess we probably have to wait until later till we can do a side quest. Oh, we can do another thing with Triffany now, though, so that's good. Nice. Ready to go exploring? All right, let's 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 go. Accidentally oh, <laughs> Look at this I forgot she had corn teeth and a lemon nose. <laughs> Ready to go exploring again there, Triffany? Yep. According to the journal, this time we're heading for the Boiling Bay. Hold on, let's go. All right, let's go. All righty. See you there. <laughs> All right, come on, Vamanos. Everybody, let's go. The Boiling Bay. Now, what are we? Oh, it's probably going to be exploring something in the volcano itself because there's a lot of stuff in there. I saw it like statues and stuff in there. That's going to be pretty cool. Lovely place, isn't it? And check out that real interesting shipwreck. If you don't mind, keep your eyes peeled for a treasure chest and a freezing cold bully of a bug snack. Yeah, we already came across that popsicle guy. Scan a treasure chest and re re report to Triffany. Feed Triffany a pale, pale, I forgot how that was pronounced. Pale toss or politos? I think it was a politos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and by the way, I did get some comments and suggestions from you guys. Very helpful comments and suggestions. Saying, hey, why don't you use, oh God, he's attacking us right now. Oh, and I think uh, one of them actually said, hey, you could actually just let this guy crash into the ocean. And that'll be good. Oh no, he crashed into that thing though. Hold on, is he good? No. Okay, yeah, we do need him to crash into the lava, but we can get these guys to like like the I oh oh it did work yeah he's out of the he's out of the ocean now and now he's uh he's not freezing anymore which is good but now he's on fire, <laughs> but yeah we need to get the ice cream guy over here wherever he was the worm attracted to the lava and one way oh there he is right there and one way you could do that with with the uh, the buggy ball where is that there it is right there and of course we can cover the buggy ball in whatever this guy liked. Which is chocolate. Do we have a lot of chocolate here? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Is this guy's fire going to go out so we could actually get him? I don't think so. Let's get the chocolate covered in chocolate. Oh, it's on fire now, though. Man! Let's get the, uh, here we go. Shrubby, 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 shrubby! Come on, let's get this guy attracted. Oh, he's going around in circles the other way around. Let's see if we could, uh, cut him off. And make sure we don't hit the water, because that does reset. Oh, no, no, no. He's, he's mad at us again! Oh, no, he hit my buggy ball, too! No! Oh, no! Oh my gosh, he's launching it into the sky, though. Hold on, go over there. Go this way. Fall that way. Oh, did he split? Oh, I think the guy split over here. Oh, now he split. <laughs> there you go. We can get the Palitos. 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 Oh my gosh, get the Buggy Ball. Okay, go go this way. Buggy Ball. Oh, it's in the sky, so it won't follow. <laughs> Come on, go this way. He's shooting at me, though. Oh, he's scared of me, I think. I don't know if he's, <laughs> he's scared of me, but he's also trying to attack me. That's kind of crazy. All right, I guess we'll just wait for the ice cream to come back around this way. It's taking quite a while. And then, like, once he's, like, right here, we're trying to attract him into the, uh, into the lava using the buggy ball that's covered in chocolate. And we can do that with, like, everything, honestly. That way, we don't have to, like, lead a trail of, like, chocolate on the ground or anything like that. It's a lot more portable to do this. I need to remember to do this way more often, you guys. So, let's wait until that pull, or, uh, oh, what was that thing called? It was, like, a Sherpa or something like that, right? Sherpy. See if we can come over here and, uh, bring him into lava so we can actually melt him a little bit. Wait for the fire to kind of go out. Then we can catch him and uh, use it for Wampus' farm because he's going to be the last. Of oh, there he is right there. Perfect. Perfect. He's going to be the last burrowing type. And perfect. And into the. Oh, into the. Oh, yep. He's on fire. Perfect. So now just wait until the, the, the fire goes out. Either that or wait until he goes into uh, water. But we can't really attract the. Let's, let's make him. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's, he's knocked out. Yes, he's knocked out. We got him right there. Nice. Sherpy. Sherpy. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, we can't really lure anything into water with, like, the chocolate-covered, uh, ball right there, because, of course, it just washes off like that, so that kind of sucks. But we finally got that one right there, which is good. So, there's that ship right there. I want to go see if there's a chest in there. I don't know if there was. No. 
there's not. So we st we still need to find a treasure chest and report to the Triffany, feed Triffany a Politos, and we did that right there. We caught a Politos, and we could, uh... Man, I keep hitting the wrong button. I should, like, remap these keys, how often that happens. <laughs> so we can go feed her a Politos and probably turn her legs into sticks or something funny like that, so that's gonna be pretty cool. So let's go over here. Oh, there's the Queevil. Feed. So I wonder if it needs to be the full Politos or just the little individual ones like this. Politos. Politos. Uh, her arm? Ooh. Ew, it's like a pickle stick arm. <laughs> Delicious. You know, Floofty's got a theory that the bigger a bug snack is, the older it must be. No telling yet how old, but imagine that snack was around in Grumpbeard's time. It could have even chased him off the beach. Fun to think about, eh? Grumpbeard? What am I doing again? Yeah, it's... Hopefully she tells us something about where to get this treasure chest, though. If you don't mind, keep your eyes peeled for a treasure chest and a freezing cold bully of a bug snack. Yeah, we saw the, the freezing cold bully of a bug snack. Haven't found the treasure chest, though. I should probably get this thing out, because it'll... It, yeah, like, it highlights the hiding bush right there. Oh, whoops. And I can't see, uh... Anything else? Golden Queeble. It might be in the volcano itself. And there's another one. Yeah, there's another one of those guys right here. Is it over here? No. Politos Grande. There's uh, the, the ramen guys over here as well. Yeah, there are those statues we saw earlier. And some hot sauce over here. No, uh... Oh! And there's a, uh, a snack pod right there. I did get some comments from you guys saying, Hey, if you want to get a snack... Oh, <laughs> he, he knocked himself into lava right there. Saying, uh, hey, if you if you see a snack pod, you should try and get it with the... Uh, there you go, we got it with the grapple. Snack pod. Snack pod. Yeah, the snack grappler is great for getting those, uh, what do you call them? Uh, snack pods. I literally just said it right there. <laughs> he's about to split again, isn't he? Hold on, can I catch him? No, I think I can. Ah, he hit us again. No! Oh, he's gonna hit the. Oh, he hit the LaCroix thing. Oh, he's about to split. He's about to split. Ah! There he goes. He splits again. Palitas. Palitas. Oh, I guess it just sounds sody then. Just like the other sody, these orange sody, even though it, like it's pronounced like O I U X or something like that, right? Or uh, it's spelled like that. There's something out there in the distance. No, I thought there was something out there. Oh, how how far does this actually go though? Like, where's like the invisible barrier that says, "Oh, you can't go any further"? Is it very far? Oh, I think it's oh oh gee oh god that was spooky <laughs> right next to Trevany in her freaking lemon nose. <laughs> Uh, I'm not having any luck finding this, uh... Oh, that's like a crab thing right there. Yeah, there's a green crabble. I'm not having any luck finding the, uh, the treasure chest. I'm like, that keeps looking like a treasure chest, but it's not, I don't think. Yeah, it's just a barrel. It's not a treasure chest, unfortunately, so that sucks. Man, let me look around for this thing, though, because I'm not, I'm not finding it. Oh, I found another snack pod, I think. Yep, fruity snack pod. Snack pod. All right, nice. Yeah, we need to keep looking for those. How many, uh, how many things have we caught here, though? in the boiling bay. Scan 12 out of 15, captured 10 out of 15. So there's two things that we, okay, yeah, 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 the, uh, the grape skeeto and the orange, uh, or the green gravel. So yeah, we need to find those. And then yeah, there's the flaming hot uh, chi poof right there. And then there's two other things still that we have not found. So that sucks. Got the banapa right there. I don't know why it's like a uh, highlight because we already caught it there. Hmm. Either way, yeah, let me keep looking for this treasure chest. Oh my gosh, you guys, I see it. There it is. Oh god, why are there like a bunch of eyeballs in there? A pirate treasure seems as if it has already been looted. Yeah, they, why are there just eyeballs in there? That's kind of crazy. Oh, and another snack pod! Snack pod. Snack pod. That's good, we're getting a bunch of snack pods over here. I think Befika wanted some snack pods, but I think she wanted uh, like crispy snack pods or something like that, right? Like not the not the free ones that we're finding over here, unfortunately. We could we could get the grapple if we wanted to, but I'm not crazy about that, but either way. Oh, scanny treasure. Oh, okay, we need to report to Triffany now we found it. Uh, hopefully that's the tr uh, treasure chest that we're supposed to find. <laughs> Let's see, can I talk to her about it? Oh, yep, I found the treasure. Hmm. That settles it. This ship belonged to Grumpbeard. He disappeared at sea a hundred years ago, but I guess he wound up on Snack Tooth Island. Hard to tell what happened to him after that. His bones could be just about anywhere. It really is the saddest thing, isn't it? When nobody knows how your story ends. 
anything else. What was I doing again? Yeah, I guess Snackbeard is supposed to be like, what, Blackbeard or something like that, like a pirate. And of course, I guess for a pirate, he doesn't have very many treasures because it already got looted. And if he did, maybe, uh, maybe he buried it somewhere over here, even though I don't see any X's <laughs> in the sand, unfortunately. And if there were any, then Floofty probably got to it already. Is there anything else that we could do here, Trefney? I can't find anything. She's not here either. Who's not here, Liz? I didn't mean to keep it from you, but that journal, it, um, it belonged to my... <laughs> See, some years ago, my grandma, Bronica Ladablog, decided she was going to explore Snacktooth Island and discover its history, but we never heard from her again. That's really why I'm out here, to find out what became of her. Anywho, that's all for now. Let's head back to town. Oh man, that really took a really sad turn right there. Like I was like, oh, maybe that uh, looking for like Liz Lizbert over here, and you know, kind of like I already am. Well, that's kind of sad. Man, I feel really bad now. Oh yeah, catch a buffalo, buffalo, buffalo locust in the sand uh, area. Yeah, we still need to do that. Sizzling sands, I think it was called. So that's that's pretty. Good. Is that the end of uh, Triffany's? things there. I guess we can look at the, uh, the, the quest book over here and see how we're doing progress-wise for her side quests. Uh, yeah, that's all, all she had for her side quest right there, so now we can go back and do Wambus's thing, because now we finally have the Sherby, so that's going to be the third, like, burrowing-type bug snack. Uh, is there a way to go back? I don't know if there's a way to, like, fast travel, basically, from Boiling Bay to Snacksburg without going through Simmering Springs first, but I suppose we'll, uh, go back through Simmering Springs here. Is there anything in Simmering Springs that we haven't caught yet, though? I feel like we got, like, most, if not everything. Swimming Springs captured 11 out of 12. What? There's one thing right. Oh, it's a cockroach looking thing. This pile of fishy bits is evidence of a bug snack. This bug snack seems to appear only at dusk or nighttime. 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. What time is it? Ooh, let's go to Gramble's uh, hammock. I, I remember the name of that thing and put it at the bottom of the screen. Let's go, uh, what was it, 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. or something like that. So I guess uh, midnight is probably good for this. This, like, taco looking thing. It kind of looked like a cockroach. A little, uh... The little outline of it kind of looked like the talk roach. And we've already caught a talk roach in the sizzling sands. So if it's anything like that, it's probably going to be pretty easy. There's a peel bug. There's the crapple. And where's the fishy bit? Those are the candy patches. Oh, yeah, I, weren't we, uh... I think up here were the fishy bits, right? Are these the fishy bits? Yep, fishy bits right there. Nice. Oh, there it is right there. Baja Tacroach! <laughs> Tacroaches that took on the flavor of the ocean. Still very timid, so it was like a fishy or a shrimpy type uh, taco there. That's pretty cool. It's got like jalapeno legs. <laughs> uh, that's pretty cool. So how would I uh, just catch it the same way as the other Tacroach? Yeah, cheese or hot sauce. That's pretty good. So let's get, uh, I guess we'll get, I guess we'll get the snack trap. Cover it in cheese and or hot sauce. There you go, hot sauce. Oh! Oh, I could have caught it right there. Oh my, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Go. Oh, we got it. Man, the thing scuttles around fast. Talk roach. Talk roach. There's like two more of them right there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, man, it's really scared of those traps, though. What if I covered it in hot sauce? Would it be attracted to the trap? Uh, where's the one that was on the left go? Where is it? It's gone. Man, I should really get away from it. Oh, it's in the bushes. It's in the bushes. Oh, maybe I should uh activate it. And, uh, pick it up, pick it up, and then put it, like, right here. It's basically cornered! No! No, no, go, go, go! Oh, I knocked it into the trap right there! <laughs> Dark roach. Dark roach. I guess I could catch another one, but we already got it, so we don't, we don't need to get another one. So we already got everything in Garden Grove. Everything caught. Simmering Springs. Oh my gosh, yeah, we did it Simmering Springs as well. Oh, wait, no, that's what this is right here. Yeah, yeah. Simmering Springs and then Sizzling Sands. I keep getting those mixed up in their names. But yeah, we got everything over here in Simmering Springs. Is this the second place that we got uh, full captured? 9 out of 9. 12 out of 12. Is there another one that we did? Uh, Scorch Gorge is really close, though. What are we missing here? Just, oh, yeah. Oh, we need to go at, like, midnight or something like that. Either midnight or full moon. I keep getting it mixed up. Let's go over there at, like, midnight or something like that. Scorch Gorge. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get the... Not the golden cheap hoof, uh, the white cheap hoof. I think that's for Wiggle, right? If I remember correctly, I'm not 100% sure, but I know it's for someone. And that's actually going to count towards our uh, snacks that we're capturing, which is going to be great. 
<laughs> oh, speaking of such, she's going to bed right now as she's singing. <laughs> Anyways, let's go back over here to Scorch Gorge. And, oh, did Krondo even have a bed over there? I might just go to bed, like, right now to turn it to midnight. And then go over to Scorch Gorge just to go... Oh, <laughs> Man, okay, you know what? From now on, just like I said, I'm going to be good to Gramble. Every time we catch him sleepwalking, we'll wake him up. Ah, oh, not again! <sighs> Should tie myself down. Man, I feel so bad for you, Gramble. Oh, uh, yeah, we have the, uh, the, 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 the Sherbert thing over here. The, or the Sherby. Bury the Sherby. Boom, there you go, nice. I guess I can wake up Wamble, or Wambis, and tell him about it, but, like, that's kind of ca that's, that's kind of savage there. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Uh, whenever we come back from the white chief hoof exploration, then we can wake him up and bring him back. But for right now, let's just go to bed until like midnight. There we go. And then go into the Scorch Gorge. And then hopefully we can find that white chief hoof over there. Alright, we're here. Where's the white chief hoof of that? Is that it? Right? Oh yeah, it is! Okay, so it is just midnight. It is just Oh, and there's another one. Oh man, there's a lot of them here. Nice! You know what? Maybe I'll get multiple. How do we catch these again? Oh yeah, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lunch pad. And the snack trap. There you go. Get the or launch. Yeah, launch pad. That's what it's called. Aim it at the white chief hoof. Launch and then. Oh, I, I, <laughs> I knocked it out of the sky. Oh no, no, get out of it. Oh my gosh, Spuddy. Activate. Pick it up. Oh no, it's really mad at me. It's really mad at me. Aim it at the. Oh, it's still aimed at the chief hoof. That's good. Oh, uh, we got it. We got it. We got it. We've got the white chief hoof. Perfect. Chief hoof. Chief hoof. <laughs> Let's go up here, let's go catch the other white chief hoof over there. Is there anything, while we're here, anything else that we didn't catch in Scorch Gorge? Scorch Gorge, scan 12 out of 12, capture, oh yeah, the jalapeno thing. How would you catch that though? Oh yeah, probably lure it into the, into the water. Loves cheese, we have cheese, which is good, so we can lure it into the water, but as soon as we hit the water, oh, another chief hoof right there. Is that a white chief hoof? Yeah, it is, all right, nice. But if we lure it into water, it's just going to wash the cheese off of our, uh, the, our buggy ball, unfortunately. But I guess it'll be worth a shot. E either that or, or, you know what, we could, we could put the cheese like... Uh, let's see. What could we do here? You know what, let's get the trip shot. Let's get the trip shot, do it from like there to like there. That's, that's good. So he's already covered in fire, whoops. Then we can get the cheese. Oh, we don't have that much cheese. There we go. Nice, he loves the cheese, he's hopefully going to go into the water. It's going into the wall. Oh, nice, 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 nice. He's vulnerable. Perfect. Oh, there we go. We got the Scorpino. Awesome. Scorpino. Scorpino. Awesome. <laughs> so here's another biome where we got every bug snack. So that's great. Let's go back. Let's go give this uh, white chief hoof to, like I said, I think it was Wiggle. And then, of course, we need to go talk to Gramp or uh, Wambus. And then... I guess we could just continue to more interviews here, you guys. We have a lot of interviews to catch up on. We got two of them down. I think we had like five or something like that that we had to do. So if we could if just one more done, hey, we're over the halfway mark. So that's great. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. This is the game, bro. Oh, sheesh. All right. I was doing like one FPS right there for some reason. Oh, we can talk to uh, Chandlo now for our side quest. How are you doing, dog? What are you doing up at 2 a.m. right now, Chandlo? Do you need help? Yeah, dog. I'm trying to pull up this stump so I can build a bebop cord. I'm about as swole as a grumpus can get, and I can't move this thing at all. I gotta be stronger than a grumpus. I gotta push my limits, you feel me? I feel ya. Word. <laughs> uh, I need your help to bulk up. If you go find the biggest, buffest bug snacks around, and I eat them, maybe I'll gain their strength. Ooh, aggressive meaty bug snacks. What would that be? It's not telling me his name is just like, okay. Oh, aggressive and meat. Oh, literally open up the thing. Meaty and aggressive, the bunger. So we catch three bungers. <laughs> I love the bunger, by the way. Bunger, bunger, bunger. If we get three bungers, he's good. But is there anything else that's, uh, well, that's meaty, but it's not aggressive. Hmm. The sandipede is meaty and aggressive. Ooh, we could probably, yeah. If we go get the sandipede, because it's like five, like, sandwiches all in one. If we just go get that one, then, uh, we'll get all three of them all at, like, once right there, you guys. So that's great. So we could do that. Maybe, maybe in the morning after we talk to Wambus and, uh, Wiggle. Well, let's just turn it to daytime right now, just because I don't want to be super rude and wake everyone up. And, oh, yeah, I forgot to, I forgot to go talk to Gramble while he was sleepwalking right there. But whatever. Let's, let's wait. Let's, let's do it till noon. There you go. 
Alright, that should be enough time for everyone to be awake, right? I know Cromdo doesn't get out of bed when everyone else is out of bed, right? But let's go talk to Wambus now that we planted all this burrowing bug snack and see what he has to say about it. Everything. Oh, oh man, I missed what he was saying right there. I planted your digging snacks. You've done right by me, stranger. Thanks for sticking with me. Come back tomorrow, and we'll see if this bears fruit. Undergrowth complete. All right, nice. Oh, God! Bilbo, stop it! That is horrifying! Every- Stop, get out of my- Hey, how's it going, Gramble? Get out of my face! I'm doing? not Gramble! Oh, my gosh, what are you doing? He's following me around like a monster! Oh! God, that's disgusting! <laughs> it's got to, uh- Here we go, let's talk to Wiggle now. Aloha! Hey there, let's give you the white sheep hoof. What did you want to- Yeah, let's eat. I guess just give it to her, I suppose. Let's see. Oh yeah, we have a lot of these fruity snack bars we need to use too, and talk roaches. White cheap poof. Cheap poof. What can I do now? Well, I can do your. Oh, this is going to be nasty. I, I guess we yeah we've done every body part now, so now we can do the body. And this is going. Well, honestly, she's probably going to look very similar, if not the same. Huh? White cheap poof. She's already like orange. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Here it comes, the ballad of a generation. Book snacks. Bugs, snacks on the island in my mouth, so tasty. Well, that's all I have so far. It's a work in progress, but what do you think? That was great. Needs work. You know what? We should give her some words of encouragement. That, 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 was, that was great. Don't <laughs> patronize me, darling. The truth is written all over your face. I don't know why I bother. I know I don't have any real talent. My whole career was an accident. <sighs> Sorry, darling. I need to be alone for a while. Man, I, something really took a turn in this game, this episode, you guys. Like, things are getting really sad. Like, we've been memeing around just having fun turning everyone into bug snacks and laughing at how wacky they look and stuff. But, like, Wiggle's miserable. We, she wanted, yeah, she started out by wanting like specific bug snacks, thinking they would get her creative juices flowing so she could sing again and have another hit song or something like that and, you know, be on the top of the charts like she used to be at one point in time and she just wanted more and more and more bug snacks and it's just, it's just still isn't enough. And now she's like, ah, man, I don't know, this, this episode, things really turned around in this series. And this game is just like, it's, it's not like the wacky fun that it started out as. It, it's, it's getting really serious, and it's, honestly, it's getting pretty sad, too. Tiffany, what's going on? Oh my gosh, stop it, Philbo. Everyone knows you look like a monster. Stop it. And Gramble, oh my gosh. Is it me, or why does he look sad now? Did he always look sad? How's it going? Oh, he doesn't sound sad. What was I doing again? Yo, what, what, what am I doing for you? Please get me the biggest, snackiest bug snacks you can find. Please. Oh, yeah, 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 we need to find, like, a... Oh, stop it! Oh, my gosh, Bilbo! You just sneak up on me, stare me right in the eyes with the strawberry eyes of yours. Oh, my gosh, every time! It's horrible! Man! <laughs> yeah, I need to get, like, the, uh, not the Binopper, but, like, some other thing for, for, for Gramble there. Gee! <laughs> Uh, what time is it right now? We'll, we'll visit, uh, Wambus after, uh, what time is it? 1 p.m.? Sure, why, why not, like, basically a day? So, let, let's go to noon. There you go. And then we'll check him on his farm and see how he's doing. Visit Wambus later, let's do it. Let's go see what he's up to. <laughs> Jump off the cliff. Ah! Hey there, Wambus. Well, they came out of the ground all right. Guess I didn't bury him deep enough. <laughs> yeah, like the, the Enchirito and the, all the other burrowing types just kind of came out of the ground because, you know, they're burrowing types and they didn't, you know, suffocate under the dirt, I guess. Are you going to try again? You should have listened to Triffany. Should I say that? Is it is it going to continue being the sad and depressing thing where no matter how much people try to use the bug snacks to succeed, the bug snacks never work? And that, that seems to be the ongoing narrative that we're, we're coming across here, honestly. Are you going to try it again? Let's see what he says about that one, though. What am I supposed to do if even I don't believe in me? I didn't come to this island to be free or to live off the land. I'm here because I couldn't make it over there. Deep down, I'm a failure. 
You're being too hard on yourself. Yeah, don't say... See, uh, this is it's just continuing with everyone we're talking to. They're, they're relying on the bug snacks to, to save them, to, to bring them back to greatness, to make them succeed, and it's just not working for anyone. For, for Wiggle? For Wambus? Did we do any quest? Oh, yeah, for Triffany, yeah. We are trying to find her grandmother there. Even though it wasn't really relating to the bug snacks there, it's just that uh, I guess didn't really help her out in the end there either. Probably going to be the same thing with Chandlo, uh, Cromdo, Snorpy, anyone else that we do these side quests for. It's probably going to end the same way. That we use bug snacks to try and make them succeed, and in the end it will never work. And it, uh, man, that's just really sad and depressing, actually. After all the fun we've been having memeing around this series, you guys. I, I definitely- I, I read you guys' comments, and I, yeah, I feed these guys the bug snacks over and over again. If it just results in them being sad and hard on themselves like this, I- I don't think I'm gonna turn anyone else into, like, full-on bug snacks anymore. Like, if I need to feed them bug snacks for a side quest, yeah, I'll do that. But I'm not gonna meme around like I did with Philbo or, or Gramble. Like, if it just results in them being unhappy and stuff, then I don't know if it's worth it, honestly. Either way, Wambus, you're, you're being too hard on yourself. Don't say that. Yeah, you're being too hard on yourself, just like everyone else. It's alright. I knew it all along. Well, I still got my sauce. It's not bug snacks, but it's not nothing. Maybe I'm just stubborn enough to call that a win. Yeah, well, hey, he, every time we came back from a new biome, brought him, like, seeds or whatever we did. He was able to successfully grow these without any... Oh, yeah, we definitely need to re-up on the cheese. We're really low on that. Oh, my gosh, Philbo. baby. He's just, he's trying so hard to act normal and like he's not a giant walking shrabby monster. <laughs> hey, <Gramble. sighs> I guess if anything, I could like still laugh at that meme, but I know like deep down they're, they're probably not happy. I wonder how Philbo's doing. Can I just like casually talk to him? Hey, buddy. What should I do? He's probably just going to be like, yeah, find the, just Agabelle and Lisbert. Is that, is that all that's left now? Or is that all who's left? What should I do? Find the other Grumpuses, find out what they know, and convince them to come back to town. Yeah, I've already done that for everyone, but like, I think... Agabelle and Lisbert, I think we've done that for everyone. We just need to interview them, yeah, find out what they know, and then, uh, goodbye. There you go. Goodbye! I'm not gonna feed you anything. Phil, he, he sounds so happy all the time, but like, I feel like he's just like, kinda stupid, you know? And he doesn't realize, like, how miserable he really is because of the bug snacks, like everyone else is realizing. Man. Hopefully this, this doesn't continue on too much, because I, I really don't like how this is turning out with everyone just being so sad about everything. Catch aggressive- I guess we- Yeah, let's let's go catch the aggressive bug snacks. We could probably end off the episode with that, but with the way things are going with all the other Grumpuses, I don't know if this is going to end very well for, uh, for Cromdo. Like, we're probably going to get him the three sandwiches that are- Unless it's like, oh, you have to catch three different meaty and aggressive, aggressive types. And I guess we can catch a Bunger and then- Maybe something else and that'll be good, but I feel like we can kind of get all three of them by just getting the, 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 the sub sand of heat or whatever, right? But I feel like if we give him the, these sandwiches, he's not going to be like as strong as he thinks he is, right? He, he's, he wants the meaty, aggressive type because he feels like he can be like stronger because of them if he eats them. But I feel like he's just going to be like, oh, I need to get a meatier and a more, oh gosh, 13 FPS right there randomly. Oh, I need to get a meatier and a, a more aggressive type. And then I'll be even stronger, because this one wasn't good enough, right? Like, it's never going to be enough for these, right? Like, that's the ongoing thing we keep seeing- Oh, there's the centipede right there. Oh, no. There we go. Does that work? Nah, oh, man, that didn't work. Yeah, you can't place the, uh, the trip shot on the ground, so you kind of have to place it, like, everywhere- Oh, here's a perfect spot. You kind of have to place it, like, everywhere else, actually, so, uh... Right there, that's, like, really good, you guys. Aim. There we go. I don't even have to put, like, any sauce on top of it, either. Oh, look at the rudel he's hiding. Did we ever get a Rudel for- Yeah, we got a Rudel for Wambus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like one of the first things we got him. Oh, there's the sub centipede. Perfect. Is it just going to get one or is it going to get- Oh, it got all of them. Oh my gosh, we got four of them. Oh! Catch aggressive. Oh, yeah, we got him. Okay, okay, okay. Three out of three for that. Perfect. Now we just need to feed him to Chandlo. And I- I hope he's going to be happy after this, but, you know, the ongoing theme we've been seeing with everyone is that he's probably not going to be happy. He's probably going to be like- I need a, a bigger and better bug snacks to eat, and then I'll be stronger, right? I'm just afraid that's going to happen again and again with all these characters here. Even though the game is like so happy-go-lucky, uh, full of colors, vibrant colors, we're memeing around with how wacky everyone was looking. Everything's really turning like real sad now, you guys. Let me know in the comments about, below. Uh, what do you guys think about bug snacks so far with the story and everything that's unfolding and everything we're learning about the the Grumpuses and how they're 
trying to use the bug snacks to, to better themselves, but it never works. How do you guys feel about the story so far? I, it's making me feel pretty down about the whole thing, honestly. Oh, there's Chandlo. Hey, I've got the uh, the three sna sandopedes. There you go. Sandopede. Sandopede. What can I give him? Uh, horns, teeth. What are we not done yet? His arms? Yeah, if he wants to have strong, like, uh, sandopede, like, jeans or whatever, then hey. There you go. Arm? Yeah. Yeah. Sandopede. We could do another uh, arm. And then I guess this other leg over there. That's going to be good. Sandopede. 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 And there we go. Oh, yeah. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. <laughs> or, you know, almost. There's no gaining him without training, dog. I got a new exercise in mind if you're ready to spot me. Ooh, hold on a minute. Let's do it. You know what? This episode is getting really long. We could do this next episode. Hold on a minute. There you go. We could do this next episode. But hey, at least he sounds happy after that. So that's good. Oh, how's Wiggle doing? Hey, Wiggle. I love hey there. <laughs> Phil was still just calling out that one. Feeling all right there, Wiggle? One last chance, darling. There's a massive bug snack out in the ocean. I've seen it riding the waves in the morning light. To be honest, I'm not even sure if it's real. But I must go after it. Please help me. I can't catch it alone. Maybe later. All right, let's go. All right, well, this is going to be another one we could do next episode, you guys. I thought we were done with Wiggle's stuff because she sounded really sad after the last time we gave her, like, the cheap hoof body and all that stuff, but... I guess, uh, yeah, we've got two things lined up for next episode, and also next episode, more interviews. Who have we not interviewed now? We interviewed Cromdo today and Chandlo. Next, uh, we need to interview Shelda, Snorpy, and Floofty. I think those are the only people we have yet to interview, so that's going to be good. Check our progress on, uh, that so far. Oh, yeah, I could just literally come to this page over here. Shelda, Snoopy, and Floofty. Perfect. That's going to be it for everyone here, at least, you know, except for Agabel and Lisbert. We could interview them whenever they come around, but... Looks like Wambus also wants to talk to us about something. Let's see what he has to say. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing pretty well there, Wambus. Let's eat. Let's chat. Goodbye. Yeah, what, uh... Let's chat? Island's looking mighty dangerous lately. I'm starting to think I should build a taller fence. Yeah, sounds like it with uh, that monster that's, like, visited uh, Snacksburg a couple episodes ago, right? You take care now. Why does he have a thing above his head, though? Hmm, I have no idea. Either way, I guess we'll end off the episode right there, so thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. Because like I said, when we come back with some more bug snacks, three more interviews, looks like two more side quests with Wiggle and Chandlo, and a lot more bug snacks to catch as well, so you guys won't want to miss that. So while you're down there, be sure to also hit that bell, and you won't miss any more bug snacks videos, because if you hit that bell, that'll turn on post notifications, and YouTube will send you a notification as soon as a video goes up, so you won't miss out. And of course, you can comment first on the video as well. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more bug snacks. Oh, bye there.